Hey guys, so it's double video day today, um, and the reason behind the double video day today is because we have been contacted by a lot of people since we put out the video that we put out this morning, um, which was just talking about how life is better for us this time of year than it ever has been um, in the last six years. And then uh, following that video, I had about three or four different people who messaged me or spoke to me in person and asked me basically what what do you do why is jeremy doing better and and i get it you know there's only so much that we can say to say hang in there and and all of those things um before you just start to question okay but what are you doing um so i kind of wanted to just share with you a little bit uh, just just a tip just something to do to help yourself um obviously the three most important things that we talk about are number 1 faith uh, understand that there is hope and that God is not putting you through this for any other reason than to grow you. Um, and you have to trust that. You have to hang on to that hope that it will get better. And number two is the acceptance of help. Um, therapy, being able to be open and honest about this, um, just with, with loved ones, with anybody who's willing to help. Um, our support system is huge and it's, it's enormous for Jeremy to be able to say it out loud. And for me too, as the support person, the primary support person. Um, and number three is medication. But that's where the questions come in because God knows we have been through a lot with medications. Um, the bottom line is Jeremy, every single one of his suicide attempts um, came, how long after? Like within a couple of weeks, mm -hmm. usually within a couple of weeks of um, of his uh, medication adjustments, because the hard reality is that with antidepressant medications, it's the brain, right? And with every other organ, we look at the organ to see what's wrong. We look at it. And with the brain, we don't. So we go to doctors and bless their hearts, I know that they're working with what they have, I get it. But the bottom line is that we are throwing darts in the dark at people with mental illness and we are playing with people's lives. That That's the reality, am I right, honey? Mm -hmm. Yep, he's right, he's right there. He's just not in the video, I don't know why. Um, but it, we're, we're messing with people's lives and it's not okay. So it has to stop. And that's what Jeremy and I are trying to do very hard. We are trying to bring more awareness to this, but not only awareness, we are actually trying really hard to bring the technology to people. We experienced the technology because we believe in Dr. Amen's work. Uh, Dr. Amen is a doctor who has uh, these clinics called Amen Clinics. And we got so sick of the throwing darts in the dark at my husband that we dropped everything in March and we drove across the country because that was the only place that was available. Um, there's nothing in the middle of the United States. We had to go that far in order to get Jeremy help because the bottom line is that my husband deserves to understand what his brain is doing to him. He deserves to look at his brain and to see, to get clarification, to get to be able to accept it, to be able to accept that it is real and it is not made up. It is real. Mental illness is real. Severe depression is real. Suicidal thoughts are being called, caused, excuse me, by an area in the brain called the deep limbic system. It's right there. We saw it. And it's amazing when you actually start looking at it. So, um, oh, are you going to bring us to, oh, oh boy. Oh, he has, he has pictures. Show and tell. Oh, yay. <laughs> so there it is. Amen clinics. And we are working so hard, um, to be able to, to help Dr. Amen bring this further and closer to the middle of Nebraska, you know, Nebraska. That'd be amazing. That's what we're trying. So, um, Dr. Amen does amazing work. That's my husband's brain. Isn't it beautiful? Um, just like me. Yes, just like you. <laughs> so we actually got to see it, you know, and the, show, show that one again. Show the one. This is a long video. Sorry. Uh, yeah, not that one. Mm -mm. Very good. That one. Okay. Uh, right here. Where'd it go? Help me out. There it is. There it is. See that spot right there? Isn't that nice? That's called the deep limbic system. And the deep limbic system is responsible for, are we ready? Name them off. Low motivation. Dark. Low motivation. Dark thoughts. Dark thoughts. Inward directed sadness. Inward directed sadness. We just described my husband. Yep. And guess what? This spot right there was 100% white. 100% activity. It's supposed to be dark. It's supposed to be black. That's mental illness, you guys. It's real. And it's right there. 
And my husband deserves to be able to see this, and so does every other person suffering. And did it help? A lot. A lot. Here's some pictures of brains on drugs. Oh, yeah. That's a good one. Alcohol. Can you see it? Yeah. This is a healthy brain. That one. Oh. <laughs> Go to Amen Clinics, that. Amen, like you're praying, AmenClinics.com, yeah. and you can find out a ton of information about this stuff. You can. It's, it's amazing, the stuff that he does. But anyway, if you cannot just drop everything and drive across the country right now to go see your brain, we understand. I will tell you it's worth it. Yes, definitely. It is worth it. Okay. Um, but if you can't right now, we will give you what we started with before we found Amen Clinics and actually got to see Jeremy's brain. We started with um, Bailey's research because Bailey loves research. A Yay. Lot. I love love it. I love it. I love the brain. I do. I, it's kind of ironic that I love the brain. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but I do. Um, so here's my advice to you. Every single medication you have ever tried, get a list. Okay, get a list from, uh, like, we only use service drug. It's very handy. We're right here in town, um, so we use service drug in Cozad. All I had to do was call my pharmacist, and I said, Paul, I need a list of every single medicine that Jeremy has taken in the last, what, six years? Mm -hmm. Something like that. No big deal. Sounds great, Bailey. I'll have it at the front counter for you. It's okay. Like 10 pages long. It was, it was a lot of medications. <laughs> so, anyways, we got the list of medications. So then we start looking, thinking about, okay, when did Jeremy crash? All right, Jeremy crashed this time. Okay, Jeremy crashed this time. Okay, Jeremy crashed this time. So I start highlighting. I start categorizing because there are, blah, 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 there are a lot of different medic different classes of medications. I'm sorry, this is long, but no, I'm not. Sorry, not sorry. Um, there are a lot of different classes of medications, okay? There are SSRIs of antidepressant medications. There are SSRIs. There are S NRIs. There are MAOIs. There are... Um, atypical. There are, there are lots of different classes, okay? But what I started noticing with all of these medications that Jeremy kept crashing with was, don, 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 what were they? SSRIs. SSRIs. Every Bad news single bears. one of them. Every single one that caused Jeremy to crash was an SSRI. So we figured it out ourselves because we learned how to be advocates for ourselves. You do have to listen to your doctors because they do know more than us. Let's face it. They do, Okay. But doctors make mistakes too. And all they have to go off of, because all that's available right now, unless you drive to either the East Coast or the West Coast and visit Dr. Amen, are throwing darts at the dark at people. So learn how to be an advocate for yourself. And if that's not the only method, if that's not an option for you, figure out what advocacy efforts you do need to do for your own you know, purposes, whatever it is that's happening with you. But that is a great starting point. Call your pharmacy. Get the printout. If you are continually trying medications and nothing is working, maybe there's a reason. Mm -hmm. So that's just a tip. That's a starting point, okay? Otherwise, if you are at the point that we got to, which was we're sick of this and we are done and we are going to do anything that we can so that my husband gets healthy because he deserves to be healthy, um, pack up and head to California or head to the other coast and do it because that's when things got really different mm -hmm. and um, we have had medication adjustments because of looking at the brain so Jeremy was on a medication called Abilify which was um well and still is a little bit mm -hmm. and we have been adjusting that since March since we went to California um he is now he was at 20 milligrams he is now down to five and he is up to 200 on Lamectol Lamectol Lamotrigine Lamotrigine yeah yes. it's the same thing yeah um and uh and that has been a huge change a huge adjustment, but it has done Everybody's a lot. Everybody's different, though. Everybody's Just different. Because Abilify doesn't yep. work for me. And Abilify works very well for family members of ours. Yes. And has to. Um, and Effexor tried to kill you, and Effexor works great for my mother. Yes. And she will be the first to tell you it is fabulous. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay? Um, one in four, guys, one in four people are on medication right now. And so we know that this can help other people. And we will tell you our experiences to be able to help you. So. Yep. The other most important thing is right here. <laughs> oh, the cross. I was like, what are you pointing at? That's been in the Clever. video the whole time. Oh, Imagine that. Oh, it's hmm. not a coincidence. The 10 minute video you just watched. Congratulations. Video. Yes. <laughs> okay. We love you guys. Love you.